Hello everybody, back here, Pauline here, and welcome to episode 74 of In Focus Friday. So last week we had a look at a really cool old school silver coin from the reign of Queen Victoria, an 1847 crown. Uh, it's got a load of history behind it, no doubt, and uh, all the stories that that coin could tell. Uh, but if you haven't checked it out yet, please do go have a look. The link is down in the description below. Now, this week we're going to be having a look at the special Horus round from Fossil Metal, so there was no vote last time, but there will be a vote today at the end of this episode, so make sure you stick around and cast a vote for what you would like to see next time. But we're going to have a close look at the Horus round in just a moment. Uh, just I wanted to share with you guys Fossil Metal's details before we dive straight into have a look at this awesome piece. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Fossil Metals is, there's all his details, there's his website and his email, so if you want to uh, get one of these then please do get in touch with him. Also I'll put a link in the description to his YouTube channel as well and I'm sure he'd appreciate it if you go over there and subscribe to his channel as well. Um, but Fossil Metals is a quality guy, really nice chap, and I wanted to do this special In Focus Friday for him because, um, well this is a piece that I uh, picked up in sort of a, a trade with him for a, a mirror bar. Um, and I'm a big supporter of Fossil Metals, I think the work that he's doing is fantastic. Uh, we've got a bit of a bromance going on I think because, uh, well I like to call him my little silver pouring Padawan because uh, he credits me with the um, inspiration to start silver pouring. Now I don't really think I can take much credit for what he's achieving with his silver pouring and uh, the work that he's managing because this is this is just one of many many things that he's done which is absolutely epic. Um, so yeah. I think he's fantastic, great up and coming talent for the silver community and uh, you know he's like me, he's doing something he loves and he's found a passion um, and that's just priceless so kudos to you fossils, this episode is for you. Uh, but here we have the Horus Round, now this is um, really quite a special piece of poured silver, now this is actually a piece of poured silver but what makes uh, fossil metals Different. You know, there's a lot of people doing silver pouring at the moment, which is great and it's amazing to see. But it's really special when you get somebody who goes that extra mile and does something very different. And that is exactly what Fossil Metals is doing. So what Fossil does is he'll pour these silver, uh, these silver rounds. He'll have just a blank silver round in a in a graphite mold, and then he has got a uh, pneumatic press. And what he does is he carves his own dies. So like with a coin. Uh, so you know how coins are made uh, in mints. They have big old dies and then they're you know, stamped together and you get the coin on both sides. Now he hasn't got a two-sided design, uh, he's just got the one-sided but he carves his own dies which is a skill that is probably incredibly difficult. In fact I would imagine it really is very difficult because first of all when you're carving a die you have to do it in reverse uh, and also the amount of skill that's needed uh, to not mess it up at any point or to get all of these intricate other pieces of detail that you can see here. And then what he does, once that die is carved and finished, he'll put it in the press and then he'll stamp down on the silver. The silver will flatten, so when he pours these, I would imagine they are slightly different sizes and they, uh, you know, the effect that he gets at the end is fantastic. It really does look amazing, like a coin almost. Uh, you know, and that's, I think, the effect that he's looking for. It's a, it's a rustic hand-poured round that's been flattened by a big pneumatic press with a die, hand-carved die. Uh, and you get these really cool patterns on the back as well where some of the um, cooling lines have flattened out and that looks pretty amazing. So this particular piece is two ounces Troy. Now it, uh, we'll, we'll focus on this side to start with. Uh, this features Horus, one of the uh, Egyptian gods. Now uh, Fossil Metals has got numerous pieces within the uh, Egyptian God series. This is not the first, I think it's the third actually from memory. I'm going to forget off the top of my head which other ones he's done, but I'm pretty sure he's done Anubis and one other, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so here's the COA for this particular piece, and we'll just jump uh, out and have a look at this quickly. So it's the Horus round. Now you can see there that the purity is 958. And those of you with beady eyes will have been seeing 958 stamped all over uh, the, the piece as you as I've been showing it. So you see here on the front it says 958 silver and on the back we've got a hallmark. Now that is a very special thing indeed. So FM in that uh, sort of Christmas cracker design almost, that is Fossil Metals hallmark. So similarly to me, uh, he wants to start selling these commercially, you know, not necessarily as a full-on business but certainly uh, as a way to fund his hobby. And, uh, and so he has registered with the Sheffield Assay Office. So you see this uh, rose symbol here, that is the assay office of Sheffield Mark, I've got mine in Edinburgh, and 958 is the purity of the silver, uh, and the T there is the uh, is the date letter for this year, for 2018. But back to the 958, so this is 999 silver, you know, it says 958, but this is 999 silver, 
Um, it's made by 99 Silver um, because it's easier to press. You know, if you had an alloy of silver like 958, which is known as Britannia silver, by the way, and that's what's unique here. Um, you know, that's another thing that stands out for fossil metals. So fossil metals is using Britannia as a brand. He's using Britannia silver as a brand. He's a British silver pourer, and uh, you know, he is being known for Britannia grade silver. So this is actually made of 999 silver, but stamped at 958. And you know, I, I actually posed this question to him, and I think a lot of you will be asking the same question as well, uh, probably when you when you have this and see this and look at this. You know, why would you sort of misstamp the purity? Why would you stamp something 958 when it's 999? And Fossil is very determined about this as a brand. You know, it is meant to be a Britannia piece of silver. That purity, 95 percent is Britannia grade um, silver. It's what old Britannias were made out of before they changed the alloy to pure 999 silver. And I commend him for that because that's a very brave step to take. You know, a lot of people out there um, would think that's a bit strange. And I think for me, for my brand, for my silver, that it would be a bit strange to, to misstamp that. But, you know, these are uh, very special pieces. These are not cheap pieces of silver. There's a lot of time and energy and expertise gone into these. And to have that sort of secondary brand with 958, something different, something unique. And you've got to admit that this hallmark looks fantastic. You know, my hallmark is relatively small uh, and something this size as a hallmark uh, is probably not cheap to set up and have the uh, the stamps made. And, uh, you know, I think that's very good, very commendable. And of course, we've got the Union Jack on here as well, which is, uh, you know, extra special because he's a British silver pourer. And of course, you can see two ounce Troy stamped on there with serial number 0002. Uh, those match all of my other serial numbers that I've uh, been collecting in this uh, Egyptian God series. So yeah, there we go. That is uh, the Horus round. As I said, uh, it's fantastic in my eyes. I would love to hear your comments on it, and I'm sure Fossil Metals would love to hear your feedback on it as well. Uh, so please do comment in this video. Even better, go over to Fossil Metals' channel, uh, subscribe to him. You know, uh, he's, he's relatively small on YouTube. I think he's got about 160-odd subscribers. Uh, it'd be awesome if you guys can go over, and, and I want to sort of put a little goal in here. I want to get as many of you over there as possible. Uh, so go over there, subscribe to his channel. Let's get him over 200, and maybe even over 250, because he's coming out with some great stuff, and I'm no doubt he will come out with even more great stuff in the future as well. Um, but yeah, I think it's great. Do let me know. If you want one, contact him. I know that he's got some for sale. He's, he's already been sending stuff out to the USA. I think I saw Mr. Zeke unboxing one uh, fairly recently. Uh, so do get in touch with him. Here's his details. Again, you can have a look at his website, fossilmetals.co.uk, and there is his email address as well. Uh, and you can get in touch with him via one of those methods, and I'm sure he'll sort you out with a Horus round because they are fantastic. So there we go. That is the, uh, the Horus round from Fossil Metals. Thank you so much, uh, Fossil, for that trade. It was a fantastic thing to see and a pleasure for me to have. Thank you very much. So now to next week, to the voting. Uh, so we're going to have just a choice of two things for next week. We've got the Geiger, sorry, the Geiger one ounce square, which is a very, very cool one ounce square. And I got that in a trade with Laura Blade. And then the other piece is another piece of community silver, and that is the Metals Mafia Pit Bullion poured round. And uh, there we have it in all its glory. So if you'd like to see uh, either of those, then please make sure you comment in this video which one that you would like to see next week. Uh, if you like this video, if you like In Focus Friday, especially if you liked the Horus round, then make sure you put a thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button, hit that little alarm bell next to it because then you'll get a notification when I upload future videos. Uh, I've got some cool things to share with you guys over this coming weekend. I've got a, uh, a very cool piece of hand pulled silver which I want to share with you guys. Otherwise, all that's left for me to say is a massive thank you to everybody for watching and please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.